The tone curve is a powerful tool that allows you to precisely adjust the brightness and contrast of your images. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything you need to know to effectively use the tone curve to enhance your photos. We're going to explain what the term tone curve even means and what it does to images. The Lightroom tone curve is a graph-based tool that lets you adjust the tones and colors of precise portions of an image. Most photographers use it to add extra contrast though you can always do the opposite and create an interesting low contrast effect. Now, the tone curve features a graph which corresponds to the tones in your image file. Tone curve graph represents the tonal range of your image from shadows on the left to highlights on the right. The horizontal axis represents the input values or brightness levels of the image. The vertical axis represents the output values or adjusted brightness levels of the image. The diagonal line on the graph represents the current tonal values of the image. Adjusting this line will alter the tonal distribution of the image. Graph peaks along the left side correspond to shadows, and graph peaks along the right side correspond to highlights. And graph peaks in the middle correspond to midtones. Click on the tone curve to add control points. You can add up to four points, shadows, darks, lights, and highlights. Drag the shadows point downwards to darken shadows or upwards to lighten them. Adjust the darks and lights points to fine tune the midtones of your image. Use the highlights point to adjust the brightness of highlights. All right, now it's time to dive into fine tuning with curves. Click on the icon at the bottom left of the tone curve panel to switch between parametric and point curve modes. The parametric curve allows you to adjust the tonal range using sliders for highlights, lights, darks, and shadows. The point curve offers precise control over individual tonal ranges by adding and adjusting control points on the curve. All right, next up is creating contrast. To add contrast to your image, create an S-curve by dragging the shadows point downwards and the highlights point upwards on the point curve. Fine-tune the curve to achieve the desired level of contrast while maintaining a natural look. Now it's time to dive into advanced techniques. Use the targeted adjustment tool, or TAT, to directly manipulate tonal values in your image. Click on the TAT icon in the Tone Curve panel, then click and drag on your image to adjust tonal values. Use the targeted adjustment tool, or TAT, to directly manipulate tonal values in your image. Click on the TAT icon in the Tone Curve panel, then click and drag on your image to adjust tonal values. Feel free to experiment with different blending modes such as RGB, red, green, blue, or luminance to target specific color channels or luminance values. And lastly, we're on to the final touches. Once you're satisfied with your adjustments, compare the edited image with the original by pressing the backslash key. Make any additional adjustments as needed, and when you're finished, you can export your image by clicking on the export button. Make any additional adjustments as needed, and when you're finished, you can export your image by clicking on the export button at the bottom of the screen. After Shoot Edits gives you the possibility to create an AI profile which learns from your edited photos and trains to mirror your style, and then applies it to new photos. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit about After Shoot. Aftershoot Edits gives you the possibility to create an AI profile which learns from your edited photos and trains to mirror your style, then it applies it to new photos. Another way to do this is by downloading one of the Aftershoot pre-built AI styles available in our marketplace. Both of them dynamically adapt their editing to every particular image, considering varying contexts, lighting conditions, and more, as well as having the option to apply cropping and straightening. Find out more about Aftershoot editing on our website. Aftershoot can automatically adjust tone curves for each image based on several factors like shadows, light, highlights, and more. Rather than you manually doing it on Lightroom, you can let AI do it for you. Try Aftershoot out today and get your first month free at aftershoot.com. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions at all and subscribe for more awesome content just like this video. See you in the next one.